Smarter, faster, better Luminar Neo Enhancements is our topic today on this special sneak peek of Luminar Coffee Break. It's going to take a little bit more than 10 minutes or less, but it's going to begin now. Hello, everyone, and welcome. So I had to get special permission from our team to be able to showcase um, the special uh, enhancements of Luminar Neo, and I can't wait to show you. Now, the promise was I'm not going to show you all of the new features because it, it'll, I can't even tell you when it's going to be coming out. It's going to be coming out soon. Um, so I can't show you all the features, but they are allowing me to show you one of my absolute favorite features. And guess what that is? Layer Merge. So we're going to start with this image here and this image here, merge it all together to create something like this. All right. Well, let me show you how I did this. I'm going to start with a picture of Garrett. Now, normally at this part here is where I would end up doing my, my traditional um, sports grit look. I would apply it now and then do it again for the other one. We don't need to do that now. So I'm going to come over to the edits tab. And I want to apply another layer. And of course, we'll take the layer I already have, which is a picture of Garrett with his back. Move it to the top like that. Good. And yes, for those of you that are older, I'm sure if you notice this, it was the old fashioned um, Joe Namath. That's where I got my inspiration from. The old fashioned Joe Namath um, image. So I'm going to rotate it just a little bit. Put that in position right about there for now. And what I'm going to do is come over to masking and portrait background. I'm going to remove it. Now I'm going to teach you a couple extra little tips here. So now that I did that, so I moved it up to its own layer. So we already have that set, right? So I got my layer set up. Now I'm going to do what's called a sandwich method. I'm going to take this bottom layer right here. I'll duplicate it. And now I'm going to move that to the top. All right. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Mask. Here we go. Portrait. Background. I'm going to remove it. And what that's essentially what that's really doing for us right now is it's, it's making a, a sandwich effect. So it's going to knock out that black background. And look at that. Now there he is. Look at that. I don't have to do any complicated masking from this point on. So now that I have that set, I like right where it's at. Look at that. We have it all set up in place. I am going to uh, enhance the masking on the bottom layer just a little bit more. Fade it into the background. There we are. And I do want to erase some of this here because we don't want the distraction. There we go. And actually, let me get the strength a little more. There we go. All right. There we are. All right, you know what? We can bring it back just a little bit. All right. All right, great. So far, you've seen me do this before. That's awesome. Now, here comes a really, really cool part. What I need to do is I'm going to select all the layers that I want to affect. So, and I'm just pressing down. Here, I sure my finger. I'm pressing down the shift key as I clicked on each of the images that I want to select. Now right click, merge layers. Now as I'm merging the layers, it's gonna take a snapshot. Now it's not gonna flatten it. It's gonna take a snapshot, merge those layers into one, then I'm gonna apply my sports grit to it. That's when we'll start to edit the image. So up to this point, what merging layers did for me, it enabled me to create all the edits on one layer and not have to do it again and again and again and again. All right. And there we have it. Now notice there it is. So if I were to hide these layers, just show you. Notice it doesn't affect the image, right? Because I stamped or merged those. Now that we have this here, let's get really creative. Let's go to the creative tools. 
And thank you, Skylo, for putting my sports grit look into the dramatic tool. Pop a little contrast. And notice it's affecting not just the main image like before, but it's also taking care of that background image. Look at this. Right about, oh, I like that right there. All right. So that looks great. Now, ready for this? I'm going to make a global change. Vela, but I'm going to have it affect both of the images. I'm going to make a global change and darken the lower half of the image. Mask, linear gradient, and I just want to draw from the bottom up. And watch what it does. Ooh, look at that. Look how I tied it all in. So we started with just a simple image here. Boom. Then I was able to apply my sports grit look on this layer. So if I come to the edits or the history, notice right here it's showing me that that was applied to the combined or the merged layers. So that's just one of the many new features, Luminar Neo, that the engineers put into Luminar Neo. I, I'm extremely excited. I had Jim Nix call earlier. Pumped and excited on what he's going to do with landscapes, landscape photos uh, with these merged layers. It opens up the whole creative ability. What I'm more impressed with is, once again, the team at Skyland listened. They listened to your feedback, and they made something, like, like I said, the layer merging, a very, very complicated uh, programming for us, and it took them this long because they wanted to make sure they got it right, and they nailed it. Now. If you are interested, there is that link. Please use that link right there, and our coffee break um, will be the ones who receive the, quote, um, acolytes that you guys either upgraded or you purchased um, Luminar Neo right there. Check it out. If you already own Luminar Neo and you're logged in to the Skyland website and you take a picture of that QR code or go to the website, here's what's really cool. It'll give you the absolute best deal for you. Now, when I logged on, it didn't give me any deals because I have a 10-year license. Um, and that's actually the best, obviously, the best deal for it. So it's tailor-fitted to you. If you want to do your upgrade, now is a perfect time. Click it there. If you're looking for a new version of it, there's that link. Please use it. All right. Well, guys, I hope that was entertaining and educational for you. Please leave comments below. And if you're here with our Skylum Insiders, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where we're going to explore some more of these. And maybe I'll slip a few more um, new features that will be coming out uh, in there. If you're here, please stick around. For everyone else, if you're watching this on the rebroadcast, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you at the next coffee break.